Well, welcome to week two of our sermon series called Soil Matters. God is sowing, are you growing? In week one, we talked about this seed that fell upon the path. This represents a heart that has been hardened where the word of God cannot penetrate or infiltrate. And here in week two, we go a little bit deeper. And this is where Jesus talks about some of this seed fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. And then Jesus later explains in a smaller group setting, the seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. So this week, week two, we're talking about this rocky soil. And this isn't like rocks are mixed in with good soil. On the surface, this is good soil, but it's only like a thin strip of soil. And then underneath the soil, there's just like this bedrock. So what happens here is when the sower or the farmer is sowing this seed, it actually starts to take root, this word of God. And as it takes root, it even starts to spring up a little bit and the excitement's there. But when the roots go down deep and they get to this rocky limestone, that means it just stops. And because of that, it withers away. And this is what Jesus is saying that happens in some hearts. That the gospel message is preached and there's people like, yes, we're receiving with with joy this message. I need this in my life. It's so good. I raise my hand. There's this emotional response to the word of God. And that is great. But what happens is nothing is done afterwards. And so, yeah, it looks great. They're excited. This person might be on fire. Their heart's on fire for God. But then trouble starts. It's almost like they didn't or weren't taught there might be a cost with you accepting the word of God. And so when tough things come, when they have to change so many things, when persecution comes, there's no root that really goes down deep. So then the sun comes and scorches it and there's just nothing that happens after that initial, yes, I'm ready to go. And this is really a superficial type of soil that can't get past the hardship that Christianity, the reality of Christianity, is that sometimes it's gonna be hard and difficult. You might be made fun of, you might be ostracized, you might be arrested, you might be beaten. And what Jesus is saying here in this part of the soil is that when those things happen, whoa, 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 is that they deny Christ. I didn't sign up for this. And their fire stops and they start to die and their faith starts to die and wither away because it didn't go down deep. I actually call that like the no discipleship soil. It's like, there's a great response, awesome, awesome. But then there's nothing done afterwards. There's no discipleship process where they go down deeper. Their, their Bible time may lack. They, they didn't get in this group. They stopped going to church. Just something happens where they thought that this emotional response was all good. But when the difficulty came, when the discipline that's needed started to come, they kind of withered away. And Jesus is saying, no, this type of heart, there's no fruit because there's no time for the word of God to permeate. And so then there's no fruit. And remember, the desire here that Jesus is getting to is that soil number four, that good soil where we can produce fruit so that the world can benefit from the word of God that's been sowed in a healthy heart. But this condition number two says it's kind of shallow. It is, there's a depth to it that when the tough times come, they just, they can't hack it, basically. And so my challenge to you is how are you deepening your faith? How are you being a disciple of Christ that is constantly trying to get better in your relationship with Jesus? Are you in your word every day? Are you praying every day? Do you have a group of believers that can come alongside you to give you nourishment and help? Are you going to God for nourishment? Those types of things start to create a depthness of the soil that when the word of God comes and things get really difficult for you, you have something to take root in. So if you know anybody that you're like, man, they were so on fire, 
but then when difficulty came, it's because there's probably no discipleship happening in their life that they didn't tend to the word and to the seed correctly. And so for those people, for those hearts, how can we get them back into a discipleship process? Here at Christ Wesley, we ask that you gather, grow, give, and go as part of our discipleship process. We want you to gather together every week. We want you to worship together, pray together, be around other believers every week, hearing a unified message from the Word of God. And we want you to grow throughout the week of getting involved in some type of group. We have many of those offered here. Pastor Kyle Roberts would love to hook you up. And then give. How are you giving your time, your resources? Are you serving somewhere? Are you edifying the body of Christ? And all of that being put together is, are you going into your world and that's where the fruit is but we need to make sure we're taking care of the soil so that we don't have a shallow faith we want to make sure that our hearts are in a place of man i kind of expect bad things to happen <laughs> not bad things but because of the word of god you know listen this world's going to hate us because of christ i mean that's just period and so if there's difficulty coming because of your relationship with christ yeah you're in good company there's people who pressed on and pressed through but do you have that deep faith that can take root. We don't want you to have a rocky type of soil. We want you to have a, a deep relationship with Jesus Christ. Gather, grow, give, and go. Be in a great discipleship process, and that'll keep you grounded. That'll keep you rooted in Christ, even when difficulty comes. I hope you've been encouraged, inspired, maybe even challenged today. God go with you. Have a blessed week.